So don't get me wrong, I love Steam gaming just as much as the next guy, but sometimes I just feel like kind of laying down and playing on my phone. Now up until just a few weeks ago, normally these two things would not really overlap a whole too lot. Now that I found this really cool app for Apple devices, well, I can kind of just play these games, these Steam games, wherever I want. And that's wicked cool. I'm of course talking about Moonlight. Originally known as Limelight, this little app allows you to use the game streaming feature of your Nvidia graphics card to be able to stream any Steam game you want. And you also will need to make sure that you have a Nvidia GTX 700 series or higher. Now one thing to keep in mind is that this solution is dependent upon your network speed, not your actual internet speed, but the actual speed within your household. So this will work best if your computer that you're streaming from is connected to your router through an ethernet cable instead of being wireless. If you have a gigabit router, this will work even better. And if you have wireless N technology on your router, it'll work better yet. Now, since you can't go plugging in an ethernet cable to your iPod or iPad or whatever, there will be a noticeable bottleneck in between where the router is and your phone. So don't be trying to go play this out on the street next door while trying to connect to your Wi-Fi. Usually the general rule of thumb is to stay pretty close by your router so that, you know, the Wi-Fi doesn't have to go through too many walls or anything like that. But with all that said, it's actually really easy to set up. I was expecting a little bit more of fiddling in the app or whatever, but it seems to be pretty well thought out. So basically, to set this up, you're going to want to download Moonlight from the App Store. Then you just go ahead, open it up, and your computer should be in the list by default, given that it's turned on and you have NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed on your computer. If your computer doesn't show up, don't freak out. Just add a new computer and type in the IP address of the computer you're wishing to stream the games from. If you want to find out what your IP address is, all you have to do is go into the command line and type in IP config scroll down until you see your IPv4 address. And you just go ahead and type that into Moonlight, click add, and then you can start pairing your device. So now that you've hopefully gotten it to show up in the list of available devices, you're going to want to go ahead and tap on it and it'll ask you to pair with your computer. Now you'll be given a code and then you just type it in on your computer and hit enter. Now that you've paired the two devices, you'll actually see a new tab in the settings panel of NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This new panel will allow you to add any applications that you wish to stream to your device. Go ahead and add the applications that you want to be able to stream. Now you don't have to go adding all your Steam games individually. All you have to do is add the Steam application. Once you added Steam, there's no need to really add any of your Steam games because when you launch the streaming application, it'll bring up Steam and you can select your game from there. Once you've tapped on an app, it'll actually open up on your computer and then it'll start streaming that data to your iPhone and you can take the game anywhere you like. Now on my setup, I actually noticed very little latency, like pretty close to perfect, but not quite. Now I wouldn't be unrealistic and say that you're going to start doing some competitive first person shooter games on this, but you can definitely get away with a lot. I was able to play The Binding of Isaac, a whole bunch of 2D games like Battle Block Theater. I even tried a few 3D games. I didn't get too overzealous with it. It's really helpful for casual gaming, but I would not consider this a solution for competitive gaming. Nonetheless, this is just really freaking cool. And this was something that I've been actually waiting for a long time for Limelight or Moonlight to actually finish developing. And now it's done. I am so incredibly happy. Now, if you're noticing any stutters or anything like that, you can actually bring down the quality just a little bit to make sure that it streams a little bit smoother. So if you exit the app and then keep going back to the main page and then keep sliding left, there'll actually be a little settings panel, which was actually fairly hidden and I had to actually kind of discover on my own. There you can change the frame rate, the resolution and the bit rate of your streaming. To start, I probably wouldn't go any higher than 720 if you're on my iPhone anyways. So I'd go to 720. I would keep it at 60 FPS because that's pretty important to being able to actually play the game. And I would bring down the bit rate a little bit if you're noticing any issues or stuttering. Now, by far, this is not a perfect solution, but it's pretty darn close to it. And I was very impressed with it. Not only that, but this whole project has been open source from the beginning. They have a GitHub page and I was just able to look through all of it and kind of check up on development as it was going on. With that said, I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. Do you use this? What games would you use it for? And do you feel like this is something practical that you would work into your everyday life? I myself only find myself playing little games like Battle Block Theater and like I said, Binding of Isaac. But of course, I haven't really tested the full extent of this. And once I have my Raspberry Pi 2 set up, they actually offer a solution for Linux. I don't know if you guys 
guys want to be updated on that, but it'll be running off gigabit to gigabit to gigabit, and I'm expecting performance to be pretty good. So with all that kind of future stuff just kind of put out there, I will leave you guys with this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully it helped you, and hopefully you are having a lot of fun streaming your PC games to your iPhone. Now the video's kind of come to a close. I do post vlogs on my vlog channel. I have a gaming channel that you guys can check out. I do a whole bunch of sort of random games and stuff like that in a montage kind of funny moment style. And also, if you're interested in more tutorials, you can subscribe here to be notified when I upload more. In addition to doing that, you can be extra awesome and sign up to get text notifications when I upload new episodes of Tutorial Tuesday, which usually come about an hour or two before it's released to the public, so you'll be notified before anyone else. With all that self-promotion out of the way, hopefully you guys did enjoy this little episode, and I will see you in the next Tutorial Tuesday episode. As always, take care, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.